Look how stunning my lunch is. So we did some of their new foundation. Hello friends and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Alexis Barber. I'm 23 and I live in Brooklyn, New York. I work full time in big tech and I'm also a content creator. But today is Wednesday, December 29th, I think. I had COVID, so I've been inside for, I guess, like two weeks now. I mean, I've been going on walks and stuff, but I still, I guess, haven't like had too much human interaction. And I can't tell if that is what is making me go crazy or if it's the fact that I have not, the sun won't fucking come out or if it's the fact that I don't know what I want in life and am really like realizing that, who knows. But I'm not feeling good. I feel really anxious and I've done all my things to get out of my anxiety. I went on the longest walk ever today. I read the book Super Attractor, which always brings me back to me. Um, I took a bath, I took a nap. I did everything and I still feel this overwhelming pit of anxiety. Maybe it's just like, I thought yesterday that it was too much coffee, but I barely drank any coffee today. So I don't know what it is, but I do know that I need to eat something. So. I'm gonna go pick up food from Daigo Sushi, which is this hand roll bar, it's nearby. And then I got a few things um, in packages because I'm updating the apartment. So I'm gonna grab those from downstairs and then we'll see if I have enough like energy and mental capacity to do the content I need to do today. Cause no days off. I don't think this is what I ordered. So I thought I ordered a different rug, but I didn't. Probably one of those moments where I like made a different decision like two minutes before. I did order a second rug because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like that rug or the other rug. So let's hope I love the second rug. Anyway, went to Trader Joe's because it's right across from the sushi place. And I got the last bouquet of white roses, which is my only thing I have in my house. And I got a few little things to make myself a char cutie board. I always want to say char cutie board, but it's so lame. So I got some grapes, pepperoni, crackers, and my favorite cheese, which is called borsoin. This stuff is so good, especially if you're like, don't know what you like in cheese. I have never met a person. I've never served this, and someone not been obsessed with it. Like, I'm obsessed. She's so good. We love. Um, then I got my sushi, so also this company I've been using for a really long time, or I used to back when I was like in heavy dieting mode, I used to eat this bread from Royo, but it turns out that I actually just like really like the bread, um, even though I don't diet anymore. And they just launched bagels. So they sent some over and I'm gonna put this in the fridge maybe have some and then they have these this artesian bread oh my god yes and so i actually just ran out of my bread so this is amazing this is this is keto friendly low carb bread so if you are doing a keto diet or anything like that these are just oh and they have eight everything bagel ones jeff is gonna be so excited he loves everything bagels so i love this stuff keep it in the fridge uh, i'll probably use this to have lunches this week which is good Running roll and sparkling water, bad vibes. Anyway, now it's time to eat my sushi and I'm gonna turn on some old Real Housewives. Good morning, baddies. It's Thursday, December 30th, and hello, how are you? It's the morning. Yesterday I had a bad day. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yesterday I had the most anxious day of my young life. Um, I think I vlogged a little bit of it, but it was really tough and Thank God I woke up feeling better. And then this morning I did all of my content. I have a bunch of sponsored content to end out the year. And I'm getting all, got everything sort of done, which feels good, but now that it's done, some anxiety's coming back up. 
I am getting my lashes done in a few hours. So right now we just got some packages. It is the art prints for those frames that have been sitting here forever. I also got a new Brita. I need to show you that. It's boring. I don't know why, I just kind of felt like the Brita was probably, you know, getting dirty. I don't know. I'm weird about that kind of stuff. And then I got this shirt from Amazon and a, some dusters. We need to dust more as a generation. But the prints have arrived. So I bought these. I just don't know if I'm going to like them because I feel like I try sometimes to have a really cool aesthetic in my apartment. And then it's like, but I'm not actually that cool. And I like when things are minimal. So now. Oh, fine. So I ordered two prints. One for above my bed and one for maybe where near my tv one is pink because you know that's my like in my accent color i will allow in this house and one is black and white so the black and white one is actually this i mean who knew that art prints were going to be the most heavily packaged items in the world yeah but it's a disco ball i thought that was cute shows people on a party and then this one I think is so funny it says I am so gonna cry and that's so me I cry at everything I'm not kidding like every piece of television that comes on my screen we're crying okay let's put these in the frames You guys, I love them. They look so good. I don't like to put outside things on my bed, but like it just was not working. How fucking cute is that? It's gonna look so cute. Just add so much to the apartment. And then we're gonna get rid of these guys. Put this up here, which do you think I can do it by myself? Probably a bad idea to do it by myself, but I want to. Mm, let's see if I have enough command strips. So I'm doing it myself. But basically, I just like measured everything and put a bunch of tape, you can't even see it, but Jeff would be so proud of me. I am the type of person just put the command strips up and hope for the best, but no bitch, I measured it so that it would all be even and he would die if he saw me right now. So, now I have large picture hanging strips from command, holds 16 pounds, let's fucking hope that these work. I measured it with the measurement of my new bed frame that is coming. It is coming on the 10th. Today's the 30th, so it's not coming for like two weeks, but I cannot wait for it because I really think that having a real bed frame will just really elevate my apartment. So I'm gonna put it up. I'll let you know what happens. Okay, how cute is that? My bed is so ugly. It's gonna look so much better when the actual frame gets here and we change out those pillows, but I think it looks so much better over there. And we just need something maybe in this corner to even it out, but I don't know. I kind of like it how it is, but once we get the bed, ugh, this will look so much better. Now I want to hang this one like here-ish like by the TV somehow. But I also ordered a little accent chair that's gonna go there in place of where that little basket is. So I think I'm gonna wait to hang this one up until the accent chair gets here so I can like better know the proportions. But yeah, man, I'm so excited. I just feel like it elevates and I just look a little bit like cooler now. I'm a new person when I get my lashes done. Like, I love her. Anyway, basically my lash people hired a new girl and she's so sweet, but she takes so much longer. Like usually the lashes will take 90 minutes. It took two and a half hours and like I have time, so it was fine. You know your back just starts to hurt, but they look good, so I'm happy. But the new rug, the second rug I ordered because I wasn't sure if I liked my first rug is here. 
so we're gonna see if it's cute or not. I'm leaving the first one down because I don't know where I would put it. Like, why would you wrap it like that? Um, so this one is a full foot. Humiliating! But it looks good. You know that TikTok sound? It's like, now what the hell we gon' do now? That's how I feel about this here rug. Cute though, very cute. Not my vibe. If you want this and you live in Brooklyn, DM me. Okay, it's a little smaller than the, the rest, so I'm thinking of getting a smaller coffee table, TBH. All right, okay, I think we like it. All right, here's what the apartment's looking like these days. We've got, I moved the lamp over there for some more height. All my books, my book court. Why do I pretend I am from Jersey every time I do an apartment tour? And I really think this looks good. I don't love it with my pillows, but I do think it looks okay. And then soon we will have that print up there with a little accent chair right there. And then the 2022 refresh will be complete. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try not to touch my eyeballs. I love it, feeling great. It's about to be five. Okay, I'm gonna have a glass of wine and chill out because I've done all the things I need to do, which feels amazing. It's New Year's Eve and I just got back from buying a bunch of shit to make myself feel better because my plan's been canceled, unfortunately, because my friend is gonna go out with has COVID, but I just got a package from, just stop right now and think about the one product like I'm always telling you I use. NARS. This is a dream fucking moment for me and to be ending 2022 getting a PR package from a brand that I'm obsessed with that I have not stopped using for four years. I just can't even. I'm gonna unbox for Instagram. Like, ah, I can't even believe it. I'm literally so like blessed. I needed this today because I was feeling so down about my plans being canceled. Ah! Okay. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay. Ooh! I can't even breathe. Some complexion products here. And these appear to be some of their new foundation. Ah, I'm, out! I'm so happy. You guys, like. I'm so blessed. Like, I literally, I know I'm supposed to be like a seasoned influencer or whatever, but I can't even express to you like how much I needed this today. Like how much I needed just like a sign that I'm like in the right direction, that like what I'm doing is meaningful, that my goals are like real goals. So thank you, Nars, so much. This really made my day. So thank you, Nard. I'm so happy. Happy New Year's Eve. I am sharing with you my New Year's Eve alone plan, which is sad because my plans got canceled, but it just feels like the universe wants everyone inside these days. So I'm using it as a time to do self-reflection. So I picked up a small bottle of champagne. Um, uh, Laurent Perrier is better in my opinion than the Veuve and also $10 cheaper. So. I got it and I got some strawberries because I was craving them and like strawberries and champagne will be cute and then I went I was in Trader Joe's and also got some stuff to make carbonara because I love carbonara and that's what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight and then I also got a satin PJ set to wear after I take a little bathy bath and some Dr. Teal's for my bath, because I'm out, and a little juice for tomorrow morning so I can wake up and start 2022 on the right foot. And I also got two new journals today. So you guys know, maybe you do, maybe you don't. These are the journals I like to use. These are the Memoisan something notebooks, and I love them. They have like the three little pages. But I also wanted a journal just for goals because I like to write my goals out every day. And I want this journal to be like free of all of my like spiral moments that I journal through like in these ones. So 
I am got this one just because it was pretty and I have to have a spiral journal because I have to be able to like open it and be on a page. So be my goals journal and some, and I got two of these because I just don't like walking and going to get them. So I also got some flowers today. I'm just trying to do the things that make me happy even though they are sometimes frivolous if I am gonna be alone today. I'm gonna enjoy it. So I love being alone. I do just think I'm getting a little, I was really looking forward to seeing my friends tonight, but we're still gonna FaceTime, so I'll be okay. But that's where we're at right now. And maybe I'll chat with you when I'm doing my goals and my bath and stuff. Good morning, my friends. Today is the first no, it's not. Today is January 2nd, Sunday morning. Um, I did not vlog yesterday, it was the first of the month. I was just journaling, walking, all that stuff. And then today, and then I went to bed at like 9.30. And today I woke up at six and I journaled and everything, uh, or I started to journal, but it was so dark outside and I fell back to sleep. So now it's nine and I cannot be sleeping. Well, I was up until at least seven, so I cannot be sleeping this much when I have to go back to work in two days. But anyway, it's Sunday. Um, I was supposed to do a photo shoot today, but I don't think we're going to because it's fucking dark. Like it's been dark for like five days. I feel like I'm in Chicago again because it literally doesn't brighten and I hate it. So, and either way, that's probably why I went back to sleep too. I'm gonna go on a walk, long walk, Big coffee. It's only 50 degrees though, so what jacket should we wear? Anyway, I feel like 50 degrees is the worst to be at. Um, yesterday when it was 50, I wore the long. Also when I changed this, I can open this more, but I wore this long one. You can also do this, but since I have short sleeves, like this is one of my favorite jackets. It's so cute, but it's, leather inside so say you like start to slightly sweat a little bit it gets very sticky and i don't like that um so we're not going to wear that the rest of everything has like fur on it so i might get too hot anyway this is our official 50 degree and rainy coat big things if i'm not gonna photo shoot then i think i need to instead do a bunch of tiktoks and make some more fashion content that's probably what i'll do anyway but anyway I'm listening to breaking the habit of being yourself by joe dispenza i had not i have confused joe dispenza with joe rogan humiliating that's disgusting he's like not a good human in my opinion so i was like why would anyone listen to this book but then someone recommended it to me and i was like okay it's very hard to grasp, but very interesting nonetheless. And there's no good podcast right now because it's the holidays. So that's what we'll do. Let's go on our walk. Hello baddies, it's Sunday evening, it's 4.30, and it's about that time to head to the gym. I don't know if I've touched on this at all, but I am doing like a little bit of a 30 day challenge for January, where it's like dry January, um, work out every day, journal every day, visualize every day, and that is important to me. I already journal every day, but I don't meditate and visualize, and I did do a really cool meditation today that it just felt like amazing like i haven't felt that way in a lot like ever from meditating so that was um really cool then um i already journaled of course and then i don't know how much water to put in this and now we're heading to the gym this is my first time ever doing pre-workout so i'm trying it out but I don't know how you, it's eight to 10 ounces of water. So we're trying pre-workout. I'm only mixing it into a little bit of water because I don't want to have to like pee a ton, but let's find the scoop. And the workouts I'm doing are the Alive by Whitney Simmons 10 week strong program. 
I'm doing this one because I love Whitney Simmons and her body. We have the same, we're the same height and have the same proportion, so I feel like it'll work. And then, yeah, let me know if you want me to do more fitness-related content. And if you do, then I will. It's something that's been hard for me to do a lot, so that's our update, and I'll see you in the gym. Oh no, we have to test these. These are the RSP. She's artificial as fuck. These are the Amino Lean. Jesus Christ, it has caffeine. It's 125 milligrams of caffeine, which I don't love because I already take out around and drink coffee, so. Either way, they're not bad. See you in the gym. Never mind, change of plans. I headed to the gym and grabbed these little bands, but turns out that the gym closed at six and it would have been 5, 15 by the time I got there and I don't like to feel rushed. And then I ordered a new vacuum and it got here. Look how cute. It's one of these like cordless shark ones. So I'm gonna plug it into charge and then I'm just gonna go work out in my apartment gym. So I'm not gonna be able to do like everything, but I'll be able to do most things. It's just about going, you know? So I'm gonna plug this in. But yeah, I got these Vlogilates ones um, just because they have a light and a medium one and simply because they were there. There's no rhyme or reason. And I've tried these other ones that I got from Amazon like three years ago, but this is like the light one. And this is a medium one. So we'll probably start with light today. I'm gonna plug this in and then when I come back, we're doing some heavy vacuuming. Cause like my vacuum I got from Amazon and it's like fine, but it actually, it's actually not fine. It's actually horrible. It stopped working, which sucks. So, okay, I'm gonna go. Back to the horrible lighting of the kitchen. My Saqqara delivery is here. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Saqqara, but basically it's like this like very bougie, intense meal plan. And they reached out to me and gifted me a week of their like 10 day resets. So they do like, they have a podcast, they have like supplements and stuff. But their meal plan is, I think, what they're most famous for. So we are unboxing. And they do two deliveries. So they do a delivery on Sunday and then on Wednesday for their week-long delivery. So first up is the metabolism powder, which I'm actually really excited to try. I've heard such good things about this. And then we got a bunch of foodies. Okay, so we have spiced apple cider muffin with apple butter that sounds nice the thing is this packaging is just gorgeous and gorgeous roasted pear pancakes with sweet cinnamon jam okay with a little pear in there very nice grilled cheese with caramelized onion jam but it's not really cheese it's just something ethereal finio bowl Wednesday lunch. Oh, so it even tells you when to eat it. Nice. Okay, Monday breakfast. What we're eating tomorrow will be sexy cinnamon rolls. Okay. Monday lunch is serenity bowl with pomegranate dressing. And then Monday dinner is black garlic barbecue burger with daily greens. That's nice. Okay, so I actually thought this was getting delivered tomorrow, so I still have meals here tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm so excited. Okay, if it's not good, I'm going to tell you, but yeah, we got Sakara. Anyway, that's the end of today. It's Monday, so tomorrow I'm going to get a facial, and I'm going to work out, and then probably prepare to go back to work, because I go back on Tuesday. I don't know if I'll go to the office, because I do have all this, and like the gym here and stuff and you have to wear a mask in the office now like it's open but you have to wear a mask unless you're eating and if I have food there's really not a point in going other than seeing people and honestly that might be enough for me so let's enjoy our Saqqara hello baddies happy Tuesday Monday why do I never know what day it is these days? I think it's, once we come out of um, vacation tomorrow I will be fine but today's Monday it's my last day 
at home. I spent the morning visualizing and then I sat down. I was gonna shoot some content today, some like capsule wardrobe size six to eight content, but the sun doesn't exist. Same as yesterday, like we can't do anything. And so I tried to like set up the camera and it just didn't look good. So I took the morning to do a deep dive into my business finances to make sure I would be good to go for this year, just plan things out. And I've really needed a business credit card and I have never, I haven't been able to get one. I applied a few times, but I think I applied like incorrectly. And I finally applied for my dream one. Like there's none better than this one and I was approved. So we're having a great Monday morning. I'm very happy about this. And I like really can't even believe it. Um, I texted Jeff cause I'm so excited. And for me, like I talk about this a lot, like coming from like a bad financial situation. Like every time I have a small win like this, it feels like I'm not to quote the Twitter bitches, but like breaking generational curses. So I'm really happy about that. And I feel much calmer about 2022 in general. Financially because if you know if you're an influencer, you know that I like create content for a brand So for example this most recent brand that I've been working with they reached out to me in August with a plan to post the content in November And so I created the content. We went through seven versions of it They delayed they delayed they had to get it approved by legal all this stuff Finally, I don't post it until December 30th. Like, I don't post it until a full, almost two months after they had wanted me to post it because they originally wanted it in no early November. And I had to reach out and be like, hey, like this is supposed to be posted in early November. Can I send you my invoice now? Because we're obviously two months late on the project. they are like, yeah. And I'm supposed to be paid that based on that invoice to debt and I haven't gotten paid. So that just goes to show that like, I had that money in my mind. I had that contract done in August, in August, and I'm still haven't been paid it and it's January. So that's why having a business credit card is so much more helpful because my general expenses, like buying things, create content, paying a video editor, doing all this stuff is so important to just have your, you know, be able to have that money because you might not have those specific dollars in your checking account, but like I have like over $20,000 right now in unpaid invoices, like for content that I've created or I'm going to create and post in the next week. Like, and I'm not going to see any of that till February. So that's why having this credit card is just going to make my life so much easier. Plus it's an amazing credit card with great perks. So I'm really happy. Anyway, so I didn't create any content today, which is annoying, but I'm about to go to the gym and then I'm going to go get a facial. So yeah, I tried the Saqqara metabolism powder in my coffee today and I thought it was supposed to be tasteless, but it has a taste and I don't like it. So perhaps we will try it in a smoothie because this is not giving. That's all. Okay guys, we're heading to the gym. It's 11 and I'm not super hungry, but I needed to eat something because I am gonna run. So I had one of these little Saqqara cinnamon rolls and they're really good, so I enjoyed that. And then my gym bag, my running shoes in there. And we're gonna go all the way to Equinox today. I'm gonna run and do an upper body day. So gym rat vibes, XOXO. Hey baddies, it's Monday afternoon. I had my facial, glam extraction bay. Looks nasty, but facials always look nasty. That's why I didn't wanna have to take a shower after. I didn't wanna work out afterward because since she did extractions, I just didn't wanna get any excess bacteria in it. But now it's seven, I got home at five and then I needed to clean and then I attempted to put the new chair I got together, failed. So I'm waiting for Jeff because Jeff comes home tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. We also um, first day back to work. I don't think I'm gonna go to the office because I just I think I have too much to do to catch up on. So I'll play it by ear. Um, I also have therapy, thank God. And then I have, I don't know. But I got sushi winner. One of my little plans for 
the year was to like try and cook as much at home as possible. But the thing is, I tried to. And I even have Saqqara in the fridge. I realized I fucked up my Saqqara though, but because of that, I was like, okay, well, I'm limiting my fridge, so I'll go to Trader Joe's and get some stuff to make some healthy taco bowls. I get to Trader Joe's, but I'm not fucking kidding, everything is gone. All the vegetables, all the meat. People were in there like scavenging for shit. And I was like, okay, I tried. Right next to Trader Joe's is my favorite sushi place in DeKalb Market Hall. Daigo Sushi, and that's what I've been craving in the first place. So the lesson here is do what feels good. Life is too short to scavenge in Trader Joe's. Like you will not catch me doing that. Not when Daigo is right there, bitch. So gonna eat this. And then I think I'm gonna watch the new episode of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. And then I'm gonna take a bath because our girls take baths. And then I'm gonna prepare tonight to go back to the office tomorrow, or not go back to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna like go through my email and do a, while I'm watching Real Housewives, I'm just gonna like go through my email and delete all the spam that's in there. Like the random threads that I don't need to be on. And then just like make a list of what I need to do. So that I can do tomorrow. I only have one meeting, thank God, so. I need to respond to a bunch of texts and DMs and I just don't feel like it, so. One thing I am sticking to though is have not having alcohol alone is my, so I, I changed my dry January, which I talked about before, to damp January once I learned about it, where basically like you just cut back on alcohol and so I'm the type of person who would have a glass of wine like every night with dinner. So I'm just trying to like not do that and therefore my stipulations are only drinking in social situations and only cheap drinks. Cause there's just a lot of social situations happening this month. Like Omarion permitting, my team is doing an offsite year. My team is known to party. And which you saw during Vlogmas, my was so drunk. And then I have my name Talia, my friend just moved here. I'm having dinner with some more TikTok friends next week. I mean, my friends and I, who, who we were supposed to go out on New Year's Eve, we haven't seen each other in weeks because we all had COVID. So I'm not going to like be like, mm, I'm not drinking in those situations because like, I think life's too short to not enjoy time with your friends. And I think a drink or two will add to my enjoyment, but I don't need to have a glass of wine with this Daigo Sushi right now. So probably when I take my bath, I'll drink a Shirley. I love these, they're alcohol removed, so. Okay, baddies, I'm sorry I look bad. I think my hair is just gonna look bad. I was gonna wash it. I think I'm gonna wash it tomorrow after my workout before Jeff gets here, so. Anyway, I just went through my inbox, deleted everything crazy, and now I'm gonna make my to-do list. I'm just gonna make it with me because I'm just vlogging everything now. So, to start off, I just used this little thing when I'm at home of my to-do list, so one, four, and then I have a personal, random things, work, and then content. And then I open my little quarterly goal planner and I do a daily plan as well. And so these I am gonna do in the morning. So this will help me center and plan out my day based on how my morning goes. So it has goals of the day, victory, hurdle, what's inspiring you, and then um, like a calendar. And so that will be something I do in the day to like center myself. I, I just went through my personal calendar and did that now. But anyway, personally tomorrow, I need to, if it, they haven't already, sell lamps. The other two lamps I have here. I need to, I don't actually, I need to return a few things and mail out some packages. So that's gonna be, if I can do that, I'll just put um, target return and package as a maybe because, simply because tomorrow, I don't know how much work I'm gonna have. If I don't have a lot of work, then I'll go during lunch and do it. But if I do, like I, I know my inbox, but I don't meet with my manager until like 2.30. And when I meet with him, then he's gonna be like, 
this is all the shit you need to do. And then I might have to like work the rest of the day. So maybe I'll go at lunch. Then I also have um, therapy, five to six, workout, push day, and I think that's all. And I might go to Trader Joe's in the morning because girl, it was gone today. So I'm gonna write TJ's if I do wanna go. And that would be in the morning as well. So maybe I'll just make a plan for my morning. And that'll be like my walk and stuff is doing the packages and the Trader Joe's. Then work-wise, I, I know I need to do two trainings and then it's the beginning of the year so I need to set goals and new project trackers. Now content, I need to post sponsored stories and if it's sunny, I will film capsule. So writing everything down that I need to get done tomorrow so that way it's out of my brain. And then I'll look at the calendar and see what we can do. So I'm gonna wake up at six, clean, meditate, journal, and then it'll be around 7.30 or eight. And at that point we will know, is the sun out? Do we have time to create this content? Is it more important for us to go return packages or are we feeling creative and want to make content? So I think that's an important thing to add is that flexibility and that's something I didn't used to be good at. I would be like, well, I have to do it all tomorrow. But it's like, today I woke up and I could have done half of this shit, but I genuinely couldn't do it with those sun and like my creativity just wasn't there. So I channeled that energy into doing a financial deep dive, which was very productive and that I needed to do today. And if I hadn't done that, then I probably would have been stressed. So all days have the potential to be good and to be productive, but that does not mean that you're always going to plan every second and that's why it's going to be productive. So that is what we have here. It's sitting out. Ready to go, and now we are taking a bath, girl. B A T H. Happy first day back to the office after three weeks or two weeks. I don't really know, but look at my skin. It looks so good today. So love that for me. Anyway, yesterday I was dealing with some crazy drama that I don't want to add any fuel to that fire, but it had to do with how I got started on Instagram, which if you don't know, just go listen to my old podcast episodes, but I am really proud of myself for the way I handled it, which was just ignoring and not giving a response because that didn't serve me and I'm proud of myself for being steady. So. Today I woke up, I slept really well. I took one of these Sandland CBN supplements I've talked about before. Um, but it, whenever I take anything to sleep, I have, a tr I have trouble waking up in the morning. So I woke up a little bit later than I wanted to. And I was gonna go on a walk instead of journaling this morning because I wanted to get my steps in, but it's 20 degrees outside. So I stayed inside. Anyway, this morning, the plan is to create, recreate some of those project trackers and work trackers that I typically use so that I can be sure that I am setting myself up for a good work year and also to do a few like content things. So I have just sat down, I couldn't go walk to get coffee so I used my last Keurig pod for these, for this. Um, and then around lunchtime, I'm probably going to go send out the packages I need to return and get some steps in. So that is the plan for today and happy Tuesday, baddies. New Aaliyah's face vlog is up, so bye. So it's now um, 11.40. I'm about to go on a walk. I'm eating an apple. It's the first thing I've eaten today. I don't like tell, call it intermittent fasting because I will eat breakfast. I'm not against eating breakfast. I just don't get hungry in the mornings. And I focus a lot better on straight coffee. And then like, I just don't like eating in the mornings. Like don't fucking kill me. Like I'm allowed to not want to eat in the morning, okay? Anyway, I'm having this apple because I feel like I'll get hungry on my walk. Because I'm gonna go on a walk for about an hour. I think I'm gonna go from like 12 to one. Might stop at Trader Joe's, I don't know because like, I do need to get something for dinner tonight. But then Jeff is going to get here, gets here tonight. I'm not going to see him tonight because he gets in late, but 
then we will spend tomorrow together for dinner. And it's like, what are we gonna eat for dinner? Like, am I gonna have to go back to Trader Joe's tomorrow? Like, that's not the worst thing in the world, but going in the evening, ghetto, horrible, hate it, disgusting, nothing there. So, I'm gonna go now, but it is t still 20 degrees out. I would have walked this morning, but it was 20 degrees out. Now it's 28 degrees out. I put on these like wide leg Aritzia pants over my leggings. Guys, like I'm used to being cold, but yesterday when I went out, my leggings just weren't cutting it. So I'm also gonna do this little headband. It is gonna fuck up my hair, but I don't care what my hair looks like today because I have one meeting with my manager and that's literally it. And then I have my workout and therapy. I don't care, so. I'm gonna put it on. And I'm washing it today, which is why it looks so bad. I think my hair has been so dry lately. And the hairstylist at the shoot I most recently did said that I was like, she was like, what do you use on your hair? I was like, I use Olaplex. And she was like, if you use Olaplex, you need to use one, two, like you need to use the whole program because you're not actually moisturizing when you use just the regular Olaplex because it's like a protein-based formula, and if you just do the proteins, like it can fuck your hair up. So I haven't been using my Olaplex, and my hair has been feeling gross, but I also did not deep condition last time I washed, so honestly, it's my fault. But yeah, we're gonna go. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna listen to work-related podcasts. Like, I always feel weird going on walks in the middle of the day. Not like I have any tasks that I can accomplish right now, but like, I always feel weird because I'm like, what if someone pings me? But it's like literally no, it's like the first hour of the day for everyone um, that I work with because it's all not even noon. Like they've all been asleep until now or so. I'm gonna go anyway and like not feel guilty about it. But if you work remote and have that same issue, I'm with you. Um, but I'm gonna go and it's like, it's worth it to go on a walk for your mental health, get your steps in, whatever. I just wanna get my steps in because I haven't moved all day and I hate not moving, so. I feel like I'm like crazy right now, so I'm gonna go. We're back. We did it all within an hour, guys. Full walk, went to Trader Joe's. They had what I needed, but they were running low. Like, my thing is I went last night, it looks like they fully restocked today, and then they still were like halfway done with everything, and it was only noon. Like, Trader Joe's is like, I admire them so much. But like, damn, it's crazy. I guess there's just like a lot of people that live over here. Like it's a very highly populated area and it's like close to a train station. So I get it. But we got some packages. This is some candles I ordered from Urban Outfitters. I ordered these like four weeks ago. I always get excited for packages because like when you're an influencer, you get sent a lot of stuff. Saying that sounded so cringe, but sometimes I like never know what they are and it's like a fun little present. But then when you get stuff you did order, you're like, damn, this is money I spent. So, fuck. But anyway, I got these candles. They're little Zodiac candles. This one says Aries, because I'm an Aries rising. I got Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And I was thinking I'll either put them in my apartment and then if they don't look good in my apartment, I'll give them as gifts to people around their birthdays. So, they're so cute. You should definitely get them. It's such a good gift too, because it's like an adorable, everyone loves a candle, but it's personalized. And then we went to TJ's, got some stuff just for salmon. And yeah, now I'm gonna eat lunch and talk to my manager. I am feeling slightly overwhelmed. Actually, let's have this chat while we're cooking because we need to eat. So this is a super easy, super healthy meal. What I like to do when I'm in a phase where I'm trying to eat healthy is add a lot of vegetables. So I'm starting with this bag of cauliflower and broccoli, putting this in the microwave for four minutes, and then doing salmon in the air fryer with a bunch of baby zucchini for 10 minutes. But anyway, so, what was I even talking about? Feeling overwhelmed. So it's the beginning of the year. You guys know and you saw in my last vlog how I like planned out all my goals for the year and all that. But since today's my first day back, I was going through my emails. And then my friends and I have been texting and we've been planning on doing this trip to 
Miami at the last week of January. Like we had been planning and like decided we wanted to go, but then one of us got a work trip and then that work trip got canceled. So now we are going, which means that I'm gonna go to Miami last week of January, Dominican Republic with Jeff for our five year anniversary in mid February. And then I might have another work trip that I have to do in mid January and then another trip and then another potential work trip sometime in hopefully March. I hope they don't make me do it in February, but I love travel and I love to be prepared for travel and stuff. It's just kind of it's just seeing my calendar and how like, hey, January 28th is very soon. February is very soon. This is very soon. Doing like the way we do things at Google is things are planned quarterly. So when I look at my quarter, and then today when I talk to my manager about my quarter, like I think I start to feel a sense of like, how the fuck am I gonna get all this done? Especially with a new project launching. So I was starting to feel overwhelmed and that's when I decided to go on the walk. I also just wanted to say that it's okay to feel overwhelmed, but the way I respond to those things is through grace and systems. You have to have systems if you want to succeed. If you don't stick to those systems, you have to have either make a change or you have to have grace for yourself. But at the end of the day, you cannot go into a year without systems. And I felt like I had like overdone my systems. Honestly, when I was planning this year, I was like, sitting here alone while I had COVID and I was like, honestly, like I've just kind of like gone a little too hard with planning. And that happens when, oh no, sorry guys. I just put this soyaki on it. I got it from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. I, I genuinely chose this apartment because it's so close to Trader Joe's. Air fry 10 minutes on 400, okay? I would do 425, but mine doesn't go up to that. Anyway, I felt like I was over planning my systems. I was like doing a little bit too much. I was like, Jesus, like, I feel like I just want things to start happening already. And now that they are, I just feel like I have to consistently remind myself that I have prepared for this, that I know my boundaries, and I know that I can stick to my boundaries. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I have boundaries where like I only do things on weeknights twice a week and I only go out once a week. Those are my boundaries. So that's going to give me all the time I need to adequately be the creator and the person I want to be. So I'm fine. Five minutes of ranting later. I'm definitely fine. I just wanted to say starting the year is feeling overwhelming, but I know I can handle it. And you just have to remind yourself that you can handle it too. So. Let's go handle it. Look how stunning my lunch is. So we did broccoli, avocado, zucchini, and salmon. Delicious. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday evening. Uh, I finished work, had therapy, and went to the gym. Uh, and then I came home and ate dinner, and uh, it's now almost 9.30, and I'm about to go to bed, and I wanted to end the vlog here. Right now, just like picking up my apartment, I'm trying to, I used to do this thing where like, in the evenings, I would like chill out, like no responsibilities, like nothing, and then like wouldn't clean up after dinner, and like leave that for the morning, because I felt like that was like something that would help me like, get the momentum like cleaning up felt like okay i've accomplished one thing now i can do the next but now i'm just trying to try out like what it's like to like pick up the night before so i just started my dishwasher and now i'm just gonna pick up a little bit and go to bed but thank you so much for watching i appreciate every single one of you who takes time to watch these long vlogs and i hope you all are really liking them I obviously post every single day on Instagram and TikTok, so go follow me there. And don't forget to subscribe. Are you subscribed? Hmm, interesting. Make sure you're subscribed. Have a fabulous day, and don't forget you are too smart to not love yourself.